hello everyone so welcome in this video today i'm going to tell you that uh, this is the latest uh, arcana os project arcana rom that i have flashed and i'm going to give you a review or i'm going to go through all the settings and all the options available in this rom and tell you about this rom particularly today so welcome to this video and mind you that this is my first video so about rom so please uh, excuse me if there is any errors so this is the latest rom and this is the feature that is the most i think the best feature of this rom that this navigation uh, status bar that we get so this was one of the main points for me flashing this rom also this is the kernel version that we are getting here the ax kernel is it clearly visible okay so let's go in the settings this is the home screen and yes this android L feature 12.1 wallpaper selector we get here this i don't know if you are yeah okay so let's stick to this wall let's see this is applied okay so as you can see i have uh, configured a layout also installed magisk in this rom and uh, the stock font in this rom is i think we get is uh, san francisco because this is not like the product stands font but still we get an option to change it so the Wi-Fi network, same old things that we get in every ROM, nothing new. Okay, the connected devices. Here we get also a feature of NFC, NFC for, I think, European devices that was mentioned in the post. And Grimoire, this is the themes menu which we get. Device theming, uh, we can choose the custom colors here and luminance chroma factor and linear lightness for the accurate color shades also we have an option here and then vivid colors is option for the more uh, vibrant colors settings layout we get the layout of the settings settings restart is required <coughs> you can see that the settings panel has changed settings uh, so let's you can see that this is also an option now let me go back to the this is the preferred one which I prefer now this is the headline and body fonts menu we get these all fonts if uh, anybody is interested in seeing like me which I also look in every other ROM these are the icon packs uh, for the status bar default one is the lines one with, but uh, this is the default in other ROMs but it is filled here and this is the default which you get I have changed it to this one okay so signal icon style Wi-Fi icon style and the icon shape we can also change it from here like if you can if you want to use this icon you can see that in the settings see icons have changed colors uh, that style okay so let me get it back uh, yeah, here I can see default one so as you saw that there was a minor hiccup there so these things happen in custom norms don't uh, take these things as any bug or uh, any that is around that you can even consider that this ROM is not smooth ROM. I am using it from two to three weeks, and this is never lagged or uh, like thing. They, that was a very minor hiccup. And I will volume zooming is also an option there. Okay, so extras the game space we get enable gaming mode, game list, dynamic mode, automatically text games, disable automatic brightness, notification overlay. See the type of notification we can set okay not a gamer person so 
you can only see from here and then uh, get to know what you like let me disable it for now hidden apps you can also hide apps here and also we get a app lock feature in this ROM uh, for the spoofing uh, for limited storage unlock higher FPS in other games with support unlock higher quality streams ok so I have checked all that now moving to the lock screen ambient dead lighting pulse knife bar pulse and all that we all get ok so not not getting any uh, copyrights right now so not playing music by the way some of, some of the people are having issues regarding music playing playback in this ROM but uh, I think that that was only minor one or two people most of them including me haven't got anything such as like that so clean flashes recommended which I did now lock screen charging info as you can see screen off animation CRT so that let's keep it to default right now ok so ripple effect opening UD FPS I have to feedback ok screen FOD when the screen is off keep it off ok I have kept it off icon picker as you can see we get a lot of icons UD FPS animations we also get many of them but I usually don't like so I have switched it off like the custom one uh, stock pixel one notifications this is the sum of the new options like reticker redesign which you can see but I don't think that I haven't experienced this yet so let's see what happens see if it has changed no not I don't think so that there was any major change let me know the developers what is meant for ok show the notification count display number pending notifications and all hardware media background ok notifications we get seen already quick settings brightness slider never show see no brightness slider show when expanded only when expanded and always show yep so show when expanded position is only one bottom order brightness icon clear all notification button which replaces the button at the bottom which we get don't like that so this is the quick settings when you now moving to the status bar styles these are the styles that we get battery percentage also we input as usual you know network traffic and all that dynamic mode for that network indicator status bar icons ok now the volume steps we get idle manager is this feature of arcana roms which we get project arcana rom idle manager tap to wake screenshot swipe to screenshot and all that this was the grimoire and then display you can see we get these many features for the display extra dim screen timeout tar theme ok pocket detection is also there but I have switched it off for battery things uh, battery bag is also very good for this ROM let me tell you about that uh, so this is like the usage which I am getting and I charge it 200 like about an hour or two so ago and 87 I am on 87 right now you can see the usage past 24 hours is like 8 or 20 minutes and it's very power efficient ROM so battery and also the uh, Android 12 ROMs had issue of high temperature but uh, uh, this is not the case with this ROM uh, but even I, I have faced that it was battery temperature is was large, around 30 degrees Celsius which was very less up till now only in this ROM ok so battery performance these all the things you get then storage you can see all that same things and also we get one uh, this feature in this ROM that is the per app volume controller which you can control ok per app volume control ok which you can control that for every single app like any game or any uh, you are playing with the music in the background so that was the feature 
now moving ahead your ladies uh, and one thing to tell you that double tap to wake features uh, many people are not getting it that is only on the status bar but you can get this on anywhere from the lock screen also you just try to have to do one thing that you have to turn on this in the say uh, the uh, RAM management is also very good in this as you can see all the apps are still in the memory It's very very good RAM management in here. Very good. Uh, due to this, uh, I, I mean there are sometimes that battery decreases. Due to this only feature that's very minor decrease, but uh, there is that RAM management is uh, much good in this ROM. I have seen that. Okay. So sounds vibration utilities. Uh, and we do not get any pitch black dark theme in this ROM uh, for that you will have to use LS uh, AOSP mods but I recommend you don't use that LS AOSP mods because uh, some things are messing up with 12.1 uh, feature especially the quick uh, tiles feature in AOSP mods okay talking about this ROM security and features you get the face lock pattern and face lock is also very quick uh, it's very quick. Let me show you. Face and lock. Tap to set up. Next. Okay, set now. Done. See, now I'm going to unlock it via. Okay, so this was the face lock guys and now about the finger 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 pin scanner. See so now I have currently used uh magic and let me know in the comment if you want any video regarding uh I have also got this let me tell you see Icons, iOS. I have, uh, if you can see or not, let me show you closely. These are the iOS icons uh, which I have got on my device, and these are not the latest 15.4 ones, but uh, this is the 15 ones. So, let me know if you want to see a video for this how to get it. I just flashed a module, magic module. I'll tell you about it and attach it in the uh, comment uh, of in the video also. And if you want the whole process, I can also give you that. So, as you can see, the default font is here is say. One thing you can see that in this we get this iOS font which is like a feature that is a very minor feature but I think that's a very great feature for a ROM to have because this font is not available uh, everywhere even in the font manager module okay so these are the stock wallpapers that we get in the in the arcanary sorry in the Arcanary app which we get in this ROM we get a bunch of so many wallpapers we get in this ROM as you can see so that's one which I have applied so I just also wanted to tell that tell me that you can tell me in the comments if you would like to see this uh, manual G cam for this for Realme 7 Pro you can also mention in the comment if you want to see this how to get this manual G cam where you can select the focus of an object let me tell you, show you how you can see that it is currently let me focus it on. you can see that it is uh, I have a focus meter here so 
you can change that on auto it's on infinity see it is our focus now and you can bring it close and this feature plus uh, you are getting this on gcam so tell me in the comments if you want this uh, how to get it I'll make a video on this about this feature so thank you very much guys this was it about the video and be sure to like share and comment this on this video and how you felt about this and anything that you would like me to improve about this video my style so thanks a lot thank you for watching guys